so this is a basic zone OCR and ICR, but we're going to be using our classification designer. So built into our form type definitions are, is this ability to upload essentially all these sample images. Okay, so in the past, old school would have been you need to use a separator sheet. So I have a HICFA form, I have a, a check, an invoice, a purchase order, a hotel bill, a receipt. I would typically have to put a blank page or a barcode sheet to separate those. Um, you couldn't contextually classify based on a sample image. Our application, you can basically upload all these sample form types, and that includes invoice types, and the system is going to create a, and then basically say, hey, look at every first page. And if the first page looks like this HICFA form, separate. And then anything behind it, keep it attached to that particular document. Um, so in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take one 11 page PDF and we're going to have the system contextually classify what each document is then extract the data and then show the data in its own advanced indexing form. So each document class or each document type will have a different uh, look and feel like you can see here in this screenshot. Now in this particular HICFA form, we do offer full image enhancement. Um, and one of those things is what we call a color dropout. So we can reduce the red, remove that so that we're not OCRing lines and you know rogue lines and other words we're able to extract with higher confidence because there's more white space around the value and then we're able to put the we're using use what we call an image alias during processing and at the end we can put the full form back so you get the red just like it looked like when you scanned it so let's take a look at what that looks like okay so here uh, we're gonna come in we're gonna come to our I call it mixed sorts because uh, there's a bunch of different types of documents. And we're going to come down and grab this one TIFF file. Again, it's got these 11 pages in it. We got an application. We got a check. We got a HICFA form. We got this like ICR form. We have a UBO4 form. We have a three page, you know, and then, hey, if anybody's, uh, you know, the Inatech TPS report for the, all those office space fans. We, we rolled that into this next demo as well. So we'll process that. And again, we have that already preloaded here. So you'll notice that those 11 pages got separated into their own uh, indexing forms. And as you can see on the applicant assistance application form, it, the advanced indexing form UI that you see here looks a lot like the actual form. We also have signature detection so we can tell whether it's been signed or not, optical mark recognition for check boxes or not. And you can see we have ICR and it's doing a great job reading from that. We have our check here. And as you can see, we um, our application supports the Ranger check driver, which is unusual. Um, and then we also support Micker line extraction, which is the bottom here, the uh, Micker line, which includes the routing and the account number. And we also support Carlar value, which is the courtesy amount, legal amount recognition. Um, so that's all built into the core application. Quite unique. Um, usually you would have to have a check 21 solution for that. And then we go to our HICFA form here and you can notice that the 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 form looks much different. We have a table item here with confidence indicators. Um, but as you notice on the left, it brought us right to the HICFA form. It's red. We have our low confidence. Um, we have our zoom the zone areas. This just allows us to uh, not have to search and zoom in on the document itself uh, to validate. And you can see here, I have a low confidence. Um, this was confidence of 95%, uh, but the minimum was 99. So all I have to do is click off on that little rectangle uh, triangle. And once I hit next, it's gonna wanna close the batch. We're not gonna, cause I'm gonna just move to each one of these things here, but essentially the end user only needs to look at the red documents. Here we have a tab view. So you can see how we've extracted the data along with the check marks, this optical mark. We got our UBO4 medical claim form. Again, very similar. Here's our housing application where we read a barcode. We then did a database lookup on that. 
And then our TPS report, and as you notice, we have the three pages. So every time you hit this TPS report cover sheet, you need to separate. And one of our biggest verticals is certainly education. So how do we use OMR, optical mark zones, and then how do we use cluster zones to basically say, hey, there's 10 choices here. Which one of the 10 did you select? Um, and then at the end, we're using actually some natural language processing capabilities using the uh, Microsoft Computer Vision ICR engine to extract the information. So this is a quick demonstration here. We'll go in, um, I've already pre-processed our bubble forms and you can see uh, we have on the right a custom indexing form. So as I go through each, and as you can see, it's just using the column header, yes, mostly. Um, so this is just a true false on the setup. I can, if you hit, if it's filled in, I could say yes, no, I could put one zero, I could put whatever value you want if it's true or false, essentially. And you could see then a screen shot of what bubble it actually looks at. Now here on page two, we also have some, as I said, some natural language processing, what the parse value and the extracted value looks like. You could see, you could see the word the has a little, um, little squiggly mark there, but it was smart enough to know that that wasn't an R or another value. Um, so we can leverage some things like natural language processing to ensure that the words actually make sense as part of the extractive value. Uh, and then again, showing the optical mark capability. So optical mark um, comes on board. You do need the classification extraction engine, but optical mark uh, essentially is, an, is, is a uh, tool that comes with the info input um, product.